Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Bite Size Book Buzz. Today is a little extra special because one of our presenters is celebrating a birthday. So please join me in wishing Margaret Coffey a very happy birthday. Happy in addition birthday. to Margaret, I am joined by Alexa Waco from Soho and Golda Rademacher from Norton, a trifecta of fabulous women. So we're going to start off with Alexa. Oh. Hi, uh, thank you, Annie, for the introduction and also happy birthday, Margaret. Um, happy early birthday. Uh, today, I don't have a galley with me, but I will show you the cover in a bit. Um, I'm talking about The Finisher by Peter Lovesey. Um, if you don't know Peter Lovesey, he is pretty literally the titan of the British detective novel. He's a Mystery Writers of America grandmaster, and there's so many kind of awards under his belt that I can't possibly name them all. Um, the Finisher is surprisingly enough, um, publishing on the 50th anniversary of the publication of his first novel. And it's a return to the subject of his very first mystery, which is running. So I'll talk a little bit about the characters. Um, first of all, we have Maeve Kelly, who is an elementary school teacher, whose mother um, has always been a little bit disparaging about her weight and also assures her that curvy girls shouldn't waste their time trying to be fit. So Maeve actually sets out to disprove her mother's theory by signing up for the other half, which is Bath Springtime uh, Half Marathon. Um, what Maeve doesn't count on is just how vicious some of the other runners are. Um, enter Detective Peter Diamond, um, the titular detective of the series, who is tasked with crowd control on the day of the race. Um, when he's kind of monitoring the crowd, he catches sight of a violent criminal he put away a decade ago, who very much seems to be up to his old tricks. So Diamond's hackles are already raised at the beginning of the race. Um, and then he learns that one of the runners never crossed the finish line, guess who? and disappeared without a trace. Um, so he's left asking himself, is he, was he a spectator to murder? And you probably know the answer to that question. Um, let me show you, if I can, the finisher. So this is the awesome cover. And then you'll notice up here in the corner are 50 years of Peter Lovesy mystery seal. Um, and then if anyone's interested, we're actually also publishing the, an anniversary edition of Wobble to Death, which is that debut novel I talked about. So that's the finisher by Peter Lovesy. Thanks. Hi everybody. I'm Golda Rademacher from Norton. And today I want to tell you about a new collection of essays by the popular Washington Post columnist, Alexandra Petri, which is out now in print and digital. And it has a really striking cover that I just have to show you. So Nothing is Wrong and Here is Why collects many of Petri's columns from the Washington Post, and it does have some new essays. These are biting satire that is scarily real. One of the difficulties of being alive today, she says, is that everything is absurd, but fewer and fewer things are funny. Written with devastating wit that reveals a persistent, perhaps manic optimism about her benighted country, Petri's essays have become iconic expressions of rage and anger, read and liked and shared by hundreds of thousands of people. Nothing is wrong and here is why shows why she has emerged as the preeminent political satirist of her generation. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you're staying well and uh, please contact me if you have any questions. And I will stop sharing now and over to Margaret. Hey, I'm Margaret Coffey from Sourcebooks. Greetings from Chicagoland. Thank you very much for the birthday greetings. And I want to tell you about an amazing memoir and sweeping work of narrative science, The Last Stargazers, which is coming out in August. And I'm going to try and share my screen. So let's see how that goes. So many buttons to push. All righty. Award-winning astronomer Emily Vick shares the stories of modern-day stargazers, the people willing to adventure across high mountaintops into some of the most remote corners of the planet, all in the name of science. From a childhood reading A Wrinkle in Time to discovering a new species of star, Emily has spent her life exploring the universe, and now she wants to share that exploration with the world. Amidst the lonely quiet of stargazing, to wild bears loose in the observatory, these love stories of astronomy show how scientists are going beyond the machines to infuse important creativity and intimate passion into the stars. 
inspiring future generations to pierce, spear, pierce skyward in pursuit of the universe secrets. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Well, thank you to you three wonderful women and your incredibly varied and interesting list of titles. Margaret, have a very happy day celebrating how awesome you are. And thank you all for joining us. We hope you stay well. Take care. Thanks. Bye.